Hey, welcome back, guys. Hey, listen, I just got this beautiful gift in the mail. I was able to unwrap it and look at it, and it may not seem like a lot to anybody else, but it means a lot to me. A good friend, Laredo, sent me this poker chip. And this poker chip is one of the things that he uses to do some really cool things in his company. And he uses it in a very, very effective way. So there's a couple of lessons, and this is why I wanted to share about this. So all the credit, like I said, about the poker chip, this whole idea, this is Laredo's. But it goes right alongside all of the really great things that we've been teaching. Um, in case you didn't know, uh, make sure you follow this Facebook page, because, or click here, or here, or wherever it's at in the corner. Make sure you click that and follow the page. But also letting you know, Tuesdays, Mike Galler and I have been going and talking about challenges and things that we deal with in service businesses and how to be able to overcome them. I'd uh, love to hear, if you've got a topic, love to be able to hear about that. But let's talk about this poker chip. There's actually four things that I can point out that are really cool about this poker chip. Four lessons, four applications for your service business, or for any business for that matter. Number one is that this poker chip creates company culture. And you're like, how in the world does a poker chip create company culture? Well, the cool thing with this is he actually uses this to make it fun for the employees. So he's using it as a way to honor them when they find the poker chip. He actually posts their picture on the Facebook page. He uses that to be able to then honor them in the future and says, hey, look, so-and-so found the whatever color poker chip. The really cool thing is, and maybe I'm giving away too many secrets, so if he's watching this, he might cringe a little bit, but each of the colors actually have a, has a different value. And they rotate through the values. And when the person finds the poker chip, and this goes to one of the other ones, which is the employee accountability and reward system, when each of the employees find the poker chip, they know that there's a value attached to this. In other words, they can take this and turn it back in for something out of the company store. And they get to redeem it for like prizes and really cool things. Um, and I don't, I'm not going to go down the list of all the stuff, but they're really, really cool prizes that they can get. Not stuff just like branding pens and stuff like really cool stuff like massages i guess i'm going down the list all right so on to the next thing so first of all is the fact that this actually breeds and builds the company culture around a great theme now he's a harley davidson guy as you can see and uh, he loves his motorcycles and one of the conversations that we had about the harley davidson thing is that it actually has an uh um what do you call it an epic brandness to it which he uses to apply because it gets a lot of talkability. So other people that are in there that also like the Harley Davidson brand talk about it and it creates more of a culture, creates more commonality. Um, and so here's the other thing too about the employee accountability. So the first thing is building the culture. Second thing is employee accountability. And the way that they use it for the accountability part of it is that they hide them in each of their customers' locations. Now he's a cleaning service and he does a lot of commercial work. And so he has this and he goes into wherever that office is or whatever it is they're cleaning and hides them in places that, they, that he knows that they have to check because it's on their check sheet. In other words, if you have to move the microwave in the kitchen or whatever, you have to move it in order to clean under it, he'll hide it under the microwave. Or maybe he hides it and you have to clean the bottom of the chair, you know, stick it on the bottom of the chair or something. But it's always in connection with what they are supposed to be doing anyway. So they make it easy to find. It's not like a real big challenge, but it keeps them accountable to that checklist. And then it also rewards them for actually going in and completing the checklist and completing the job the way that it's supposed to be done. Now, that's not going to work for everybody. What I would encourage you to do is find out something like this that's going to reward them based off of the checklist that they have to do. But I'm sure that there's some ideas with the amount of creativity. Um, and if you have some idea that you can use for a different company or something that you're using, your company, please let us know. I mean, talk about it because that's what this is here for is to be able to help others. All right, so we've got company culture. We're building out employee accountability. The next thing that it does, and this is really cool, is he actually interacts with the customer. So he's networking and creating more value for the customer. One of the things that they do is when they do find it, he sends them back an email, lets them know, hey, our employee found XYZ poker chip in the area. We know that they're keeping it. It lets the customer know that they're keeping up and they're uh, interacting and making sure they're doing a great job. But then in addition to that, he sends them some kind of a treat or a snack or maybe coffee. Uh, and it gives them the ability to feel more valued. And it's just such a small thing. I mean, like, how much does it cost to give a dozen donuts to the office? Not much. But, man, the, the relationship that you build, the networking is pretty awesome. All right. And the last thing, and this is what I think is more important than anything else because this is what everybody misses. This poker chip creates a talkable brand. 
Nobody really wants to talk about cleaning services. Nobody really wants to discuss all of the different aspects of cleaning service. But almost everybody says, that's a really cool idea. And it gives Laredo a chance to be able to talk about his company to others. Or it gives the em the employees a chance to talk about what they do. Or it gives the customer a chance to be able to talk to other people about, hey, you know what, I got this one company. You know what they do for their employees? This is a really cool idea, blah, blah, blah. And it gives them a chance because it makes it a talkable brand. And things like this is what makes him different than everybody else that's in that area. And when you find creative things like this, this is what, again, I, I just almost geek out over because this is all has to do with marketing. It has to do with the ability to, to make yourself a difference in the community, a difference in the area, and just separate yourself from everybody else, every other competitor that's out there. And so one of the things, and I'll just end with this, the crazy thing is this poker chip has literally brought Laredo business. It's literally closed deals for them. You say, how in the world? Well, it's because it's a talkable brand. It's the ability for them to be able to establish something that's in common with other people. And he told me the story about one time where he was uh, working with a, a client and he had to go out and go do the estimate. And the way that they found him was because the owner of the business also had a fondness and was interested in Harley Davidson. He said, the majority of the time that we were there, we spoke about motorcycles. We didn't even talk about the job. We didn't talk about any of the other things that go along with closing a quote-unquote sale. We talked about a motorcycle. And at the end of it, basically, it was like, hey, just lay down the price. And the guy was like, yeah, I don't really care. Just go ahead and do it. Just let me know when you can be here. Just go ahead. And, and that's what the cool thing is, is when you have a talkable brand, people really love it. And they want to be involved. And they want to be a part of it. So in your company, seek to do really cool, creative things like this and make yourself talkable. Tie it in with your accountability for your employees. Make it fun for them. And you can even use something as simple as a poker chip to make all of that happen. So until next time, keep those things. Apply them. Let me know what you think. If you have any other ideas that could apply to this, man, I would really love to hear them. So we'll talk soon.